Okay, so what I explained is like initially, right, uh, there are two types of data types, right, primitive and uh, complex. And uh, if the scenario is like you have a mask or where you have to store different values in the same column, right? So complex data type, like same data type is there. Right? If I say integer, so all values should be integer. So then it, that is the case is fine. But suppose my case is I have a two columns are number type. Okay, the value type is number. Okay, and uh, other three columns are the string type. So, what data type I uh, what uh, complex data type I should use? So, another complex data type is there. Struct. So, struct is a data type like structure. We call it structure. So, this data type, complex data type, complex data type in I, data type in I which is used for different data type, which is used to store any number of different data types, any number of different data types. Okay. If I say all the five values are all different, different data types, it's not a matter. Okay. But there is a way to define, right? How can you take it their data type? Okay. So you can define the struct type. So how will you use it? So you say address, you say struct type and inside that you say the first column is a house number so house number is integer type okay like this you will be defining all the data types like you say street is string type and the city is a string type city is a string type this is small s and uh, country is a string type and uh, you have zip code is a number type string type comma will come okay and uh, zip code is a integer so can you see here here i don't need to define multiple types because all are the same type in but here is if it is a struct type so a struct type can take a different different custom data type Right. So you can take it any number of column, any different different data type. Okay. So this is a struct. The third one com complex data type is there. So one is array. Array is first one complex data type. Second one is struct is a complex data type. And the third one is a complex data type is map. So map is a special data type custom data type, complex data type. Okay, it is also complex data type. And this data type is used for the key value pair. So we know, right, key value pair data we can store in the map, right? The so same thing is here. Suppose I say, um, like, uh, something like I say, like employee ID is associated with the department. So this is the like department is a value and employee ID is a key. So I can say, okay, I can say PF or EPF, right? Suppose my PF amount and uh, EPF amount. So so something is there like where the key value pair combination is there, we can use for the complex variable. Okay, now let's see the example. How can we use this three data type, right, in the practical? Like, suppose my data is there in my file, and how to read the data from the file and write the data into the table. Okay. <clears throat> so when we complex. So here you can read more in details, right? Array is an ordered collection and it is an array must be of the same type. Map is an unordered collection, key value pair, and key must be primitive type and value can be any type. So the nested structure can be there also. Nested means like suppose my map value can become a, again an array, right? Okay. Or I can say, suppose my array is there and each array element is again a map 
or again array, nested array, array inside array. So any any nested structure, data structure can be there. Okay. So first we are first we are learning the high level one, right? Because uh, first I should be able to read the data, just just high level complex data type, right? One level of uh, structure, not nested. So suppose this is my file. And this file, if you see, <laughs> ID is their first field, name is the second field, Sally is the third field, this 40,000. And the fourth field is a sub, field name is a sub, and that is an array. Can you see the field are separated, how the field is separated? So if you are making your comma delimited character for your field, so array type field separation character should be different because you can't keep it the same separation character. If you make it A comma B comma C, so your data will not be parsed, right? Why it will not be parsed? Because it will not be identifying if this is the array data or it's a field data, right? So there is a, there is a syntax, right? When I'm defining the syntax, so I will be defining the fields terminated by comma. You know, right, we already use so many uh, like tables we created. So you have seen row format delimited field terminated by comma. Here is one more extra line I'm giving collection items terminated by dollar. So this symbol you can change. This symbol you can say collection item terminated by pipe symbol or any hash symbol, anything you can give. But whatever is in the data, same symbol you should use here. Otherwise your data will not be parsed. Okay. So first what I'm going to do I'm going to create a, this file, my array file. I'm going to create in my file, okay, in my local file system, and then I will load the data. Okay. So, creating a separate directory to create our files, okay? So, my file name is array file. Any file you can give. Pasting the data, this is my data, and I'm saving my data, <clears throat> okay? My data is saved. Now, I'm going to start my file, okay? Because my Hadoop is already running, you can see here. Data node, name node, setting name, name, all the five services are run. So my high share. So <clears throat> I will I will check my database first. So data IDV, any database you can so tables. Okay, so here I will create a table. What is my table syntax? This is my table syntax, but you cannot create this table as it is because you have to this this angle bracket. This angle bracket you have to do. Angle bracket. My table name. What is my table name? My table name is the tab seven. Okay, any name you can give. Okay, so I just copy this command. And I will run this one. So it will create an empty table. If I do select star from tab 7. So what I will see here, no data because I have to load the data. So I will do the load data. You already seen this command in path. My username. So I have to check where I created a file. So my file is in this my hive testing. My hive testing, and remember this file name is array file. Okay. So my hive testing, my testing slash array file, whatever name you give in, okay. And now into table and table name is a tab seven. So you created a data 
which is mapping to your table schema, right? Like fields are terminated by comma and collection item terminated by dollar. It is following here, right? So when I do tab seven, so my data is loaded. And when I do select star, so same command I will do again, select star from tab seven. So now the array data looks like in a same column, but as a square bracket. Okay. But I say I want to get the first column data, first index data. So how I can do? Okay, the other fields you can take it same as it is. You can what is our first ID name? And I say my field name is sub. Sub of zero I do. Sub of one I do. Sub of one. And suppose I want to access the third one also. Sub of three. A sub of three is <clears throat> sub of zero, sub of one, sub of two. So zero, one, two, only three index. But the second one you see null will come. Why null? Because third one, the second record has no third index. So A is coming, zero index. B is coming, one index, and here C is there. But here is the the third index is not there. That is the reason. So did you understand right how to create a table first, how to create a data first, and how to load the data and how to collect the data? Okay, it's a four step process, right? You have first you created a table, second one you loaded data, and you created a like file. This file I'm going to create. This is I'm going to create a file. But create a table and create a file, anything you can create before, it's not a problem. Because ultimately, after doing control D, you are saving the file and you are loading the data into table. Okay, so another way I told like how to load the data, I told the other way is uh, what is the other way to load the data? Is the load data other than the load table command? What is the other way to load the data? Insert into. No. From the file, file, file. That is insert into this table to table. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Hadoop FS put command, right? If I copy the Hadoop FS put command file on the same location, I can load the data. So I don't need to do this command. Okay. So that is the equivalent to that because this is also doing the same job. It is internally doing, it is internally doing Hadoop FS command only. The difference is I am running a this command because I know the hive table name. But if I don't know the, okay, if I don't know the hive table name, but I know the path of the table, I know where is the location of the table, I can write this file in that location directly. Okay, so my table will be populated. Or if I know the table and I know the path, I can use the load data local in path. Okay. After that, if you want to do index, like any particular index you want to read, so then you can do this. So this is for array. Okay. Now we'll take the example for struct type, like some example for, okay. Let's see this one. This is, or this example is covering both because here is the A dollar B dollar C. It is an array. Like C hash, this one is a map type. You say key and value, key and value. And this is the address. Can you see the last one? This is the address type, the struct type. Address okay, so Hyderabad city, right? Uh, state city, state, and zip code, pin code. Okay, so this example you can take it, so which is covering your all three are there array is there, map is there, and struct is there. Okay. So, so what, what we needed, even we have this example, but this example is using array and map. Okay. But there is no stuck type is there. Okay. So if you see array and map. But this example is array type is there, stuck type example is there, and map is also there. 
So if I come to here, so my data, first I create a data, right? So this is my data. I create a data. Here the same location. Or copy this data. So if I do ls, my map file is created. Okay. So first step, I created my file, my data item. Next is I have to run the create table command. Can you see in this table command what is the different thing is there, which is not there in the other table? Only one thing is there different, that is map key. So this collection item, you know, it is common for struct type and array type. Because the struct type or array type, both are separated by dollar. But how, how it will be identified? Because the column name I define is a struct or it is an array. Otherwise, here collection items are both are same. <laughs> okay. So here, when I say array, so array is the same type is there, string. Okay. But I am saying address, like it's a type. Again, further types are there. So this is the way I... I, I showed that, I showed you, right? Like city is a string type, state is a string type, pin code is a begin type, okay? And the one more type is there, deduction, TUD. This, this deduction is a map type. This is a type. This is a variable name and this is a type. And, and map I'm defining here, key value pair type. So first value, the so first is key and second is comma value. Okay, so this is a separation here, just defining the type of the map, right, key and value. But actual termination character, what is the termination character of the map key? Hash. So when you see PF hash 500, this is a one value, key value pair. And second key value pair is a EPF hash 200. But both are separated by, again, collection item dollar. You see here dollar is there. So any number of separation character, right? Suppose I say I have EPF dollar one. Okay, EPF some one more I have. I say here dollar. I say EPF one. This is my another type is there. PF type, EPF type, EPF one type. And suppose I say its value is 250. So like this, I can do, right? And the same thing, like in the address type also, you can see. But when you are saying in the address type, so you have to add a new type and uh, you have to type the the value, right? Like okay, this pin is the last. So if you add something, if you add something, you have to add the type also, okay? So I have already created this file. Now I'm going to create a table. So my table name is a, uh, tab 11. So I'm going to create a table. Okay. So try to create a syntax, right? Uh, manually, right? So when you are doing practice of the writing syntax, so row format delimited is a, this is a very fixed line. Field terminated by comma, this is a fixed line. And here is the extra two lines are added. One for the array or struct and one for the map type. Okay. So array type and array and struct type is common and map type is different. So map key is terminated by hash. So whatever symbol you are using, comma, dollar, hash, it will be there in the data. So I'm going to create a table, tab 11. Create a table. And after that, I have to load the data. Right? I have to load data, so my path is this path. Which level is there? My path is this path, and my file okay. name is this is my file name. Map, map file is my file name. So, so 
Okay, so when I'm defining this map file is a file name and uh, into table table name. Table name is so I will copy this command lower data. So this I will not see because I will already here. So you run this command, your data is loaded. Now first I will see the entire data, how the data looks like. Because different different format you will see the data like what is a square bracket your data is coming so tab 11 so if you see here wherever the array is coming it's coming in square bracket wherever the stuck type is there it is coming in the basis this is also coming basis but it is coming only key value pair combination ps this one and uh, when you are saying the city has a bar and state is AP, pin is this. So this is a stuck type. Okay. So in this array, how many values are there? Two values. In this, how many key value pair item is there? One key value pair item. Here is one, but here are the two key value pair items. Um, now question comes, how to access it? Because this is, this is just you done the select star from table. But I want to get a specific index, a specific key, or a specific column like city, and I want to get city and pin. I don't want the state. Okay. So how to do? Select. So ID I will do because that is the ID is the field, and name is there. Array index we already seen that. So what is your array index column name? My array index column name is a sub. So I will give sub of. Suppose I want to see only first index. So in case of first index, here B will come, F will come, and S will come. Okay. Now, next is when I want to get the data from the map. So, how to get the data from the map? Okay. So, map name is AUD. Okay. In the square bracket, you will pass the key, single quote. What is the key name? Mm -hmm. There are the, either you can get the one key or two key. So first you want the one key, you will do PTAP. Okay. Suppose you want to get the second key data also, if it is there. So you have to write comma, again you write. And this time you give EPF. So both you cannot get here together. Okay, it is not possible. So DUD, PF, DUD, EPF. So in the second and third record, EPF is not. Now we come to the stuck type. So what is the way of stuck type to get the data? So my dot operator is there. I say ADD not. What do you want? City. What do you want? I want pin dot pin okay if you don't want anything else you want anything else state you can say add or column state but you have to access separate subset as a as a column so you have complex data type but when you are going to access you have to separate one one as a field right you have and now you say the table from tab level. So can you verify the data? Like this is a name. This is a uh, what is that? Sub of one. This is a zero one index. This is PF. So PF is in all three are say five hundred. And EPF is two hundred. Other two are null. And the city is this, and the pin is this. Because second, uh, in the sequence is a pin, and the third one is a state. Okay. So is it is it correct or not? It's all data, right? So whatever data you have in the, uh, your 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 file, right? You are able to read the data as a individual column. So here you are doing the three things. One is you are creating a table, you are you are creating a data, you are creating a table, loading the data, and getting the data from the table. Okay. This select query 
close in that. So instead of this, select, we will select those. So how many complex data types you learn here? Three complex data types we learn. Okay. So all three are in a one single example. Even if you practice this, so it is already covering your array. It is covering your uh, struct and it is covering your Okay, so this complex data type is used right when your data is having requirement of array, map, or struct type in your table, then you will go for complex data. Okay. So the other is uh, like a different file format also there because uh, I'm not getting always data is uh, comma delimit. Sometimes I'm getting a data, JSON data file is a JSON file or my file is a XML file or my file is a regular expression file. Okay. Regex right? log files data. So log files data we contain in the regex pattern. Okay. So these are the some examples of uh, different file format type. Okay. Like uh, I use uh parquet is there right parquet agro Avro, ORC, okay. optimize row column, ORC means optimize row column. So these are the different file format data, right? Not only you can write a text format data, you can write, these are the three compressed data. The compressed data is like data which is, uh, you, it is not a human readable, but the CSV, JSON, XML, these are the human readable, right? Because you can read the data because CSV data is a comma delimited data. You have a comma delimited data. JSON, you have key colon value format here. Key colon value formatted. XML, you have XML tags as well. So you have XML. EMP tag is here. And EMP tag, you have ID is there, then the name is there, like this different, different tags are there, IDs, ID is there. and you have a closing or a starting tag is there in the, so like this XML is there, regex is the regular expression there. So this kind of file format data also you can write into hive table, but hive table is always giving you the data with the tabular data. Whatever data is in these files, it's no matter, but the ultimately you will get in the data in the file as a table data. So when you do the select star from table for any type of these data, you will get the data in the as a tabular data. Okay. So we can uh, learn right this one, right? Uh, like, uh, but for this, all we need a uh, CSV is fine because CSV is it's already comma delimited, right? So we can allow. But there is a, another one variation is there in the CSV that is called open CSV. When your data is in the double code, double code, like name is in double code, and then comma, double code, okay, A, double code, like this type of way the data is there. Or sometimes in this data, suppose you have like X, comma, Y, comma, then G, like this double code. So here the comma is still the separation character is comma only, but this comma will not be considered because this comma is a part of double code. Okay, so this is the whole one single value data. So this kind of data we need to pass through open CSV starting. Okay, but if the data is a very plain like this comma delimited or like a complex data type we can do with the like a, like row format delimited and field terminated by comma but if the other these are there so we need to use third fieldization this is fieldization and this fieldization so there is a one one survey class is there okay some classes you need to get the jar from outside and copy in the high library but some jars are already given by the hive library. 
So Jason Sardeja, you have to bring it from the outside. So this Jason Sarde is name is a Sarde is Jason Sarde. So there is a external jar is there. So there are the, some examples are there. Okay, like Jason Sarde, how to read a JSON file and write the data. Jason Sarde. We are reading a in the JSON file. So suppose my my so this is a JSON Sarde jar. This jar we can find from the Google and we can download it. And uh, we will load the data same way, whether it's a JSON. But while creating a table, while creating a table, I have to use this Sarde name. So remember, right, last time we are using Go format. What you are using Go format here? You are simply using the Go format delimited. There is no Sarde name. So it is taking a default Sarde, right? Okay. So some lazy Sarde is there. It is taken by the... So if you do the show create table command, so you can know which survey it is using. So show create table and you say tab 11 or tab 7, any table. Okay. So can you see here what is the survey is here? Low format survey and the default survey is a lazy simple survey. Like this is the survey. Okay. But when you are reading a data from the JSON file and you are creating a table of your JSON survey type, so your survey name here will come Jason survey. So generally you don't specify this survey class because it's a default survey. Just you define the row format survey. But when you are creating your own survey class like Jason survey you are creating. So this example you see while creating a table you have to specify your Jason survey. But before that you need to keep your jar in your session or you have to copy the jar in the lib folder, right? Okay, so suppose your data is this type of data is there, colon, field, colon, one, field, colon, two, right? Field, one, field, two, like colon separated. So you have to use, and you have to add the jar in your class part, in the file session. Then you will create a directory, and then you will, you will uh, part with it. Okay, so this will get also there. So we need to find first the Sarde jar, right? Okay, so what is the Sarde jar? So here, it's saying to download the jar. It will something like JSON survey dependency. <laughs> so, so JSON file you cannot directly load without the uh, survey, right? The JSON file is, is not a <coughs> text file format data. It's a, it's a text file format, but not a comma delimit. So this jar, This jar, what you can do, you can copy in some location. Okay. Just make it some jar location. Just create, like you can remember, right? You are keeping it all Sarde jar, which is externally provided. So you are <laughs> creating here some jars, and this jars folder, you are keeping this jar. And what is the location of this jar? Take this location of the jar, and in the hive shell, you have to add the jar, add jar, jar path, and jar name. The jar name also you have to tell. So this is the jar name. So 
will see the one message will come added job. So now you can do, you can use the JSON survey. Because JSON survey is not coming in the high library. If you go to your high, uh, Apache high, there is a link folder. So if I show you here, JSON survey, the JSON other jars are there, but JSON survey jar is coming. But if you see the XML one, Go to a new table XML. So Okay, first we do this JSON one. So what I did, I just added the jar. And now I just do the create table command and create a data. So what I do, In my create table command, I have to use this packet. Org Apache five from two survey to JSON survey, and I just create a so first I check whether I'm able to create my table with survey or not. This package is not there. So, This one is created there. So this is taking a one only text string. Okay, and this is a location. So this location I will keep it one file. Okay. So this is the data. So test dot JSON. This test dot JSON create. Will use. So I have created already the survey type. Okay. So just I will use the load data command because of this survey, it should pass the data and load into the one single column. Okay. As an array type. Okay. Not this one. This one. So I will. So we write the load data. Actually, there are the either you copy the file this location or you do the load. My name is test dot JSON. And table name is a test table. Okay, so now I check. In coming in the single column. So can you see here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I take it text only. So I have to define one number field also. Okay. So I create a table again, okay, and uh, actually here they define only number. So number data is coming. 
So all the data is taken by one point. So I do one thing. So I create a table here with the two columns, text number column. That is the second one. Okay, and then I change the location of the one and table name also as well. Created another new table. Oh, there is nothing number is there, right? Oh, so this is the number is the column name and type is a Understood the error, right? Because I given the wrong data type. The wrong data type is in one. Okay. So now I will load the data. So same load command I will run, but I will change my table is now test one. Data is the same, file is same. Just I'm loading the data test dot JSON in the test one. And now I do select star from table test one. Can you see now the data is coming correctly? The JSON data is coming correctly in the two different columns, right? Okay. One column is two column and one column is the bar column. Okay. So I will copy paste this example. You can try. Simple. That just you have to download the same thing you do, whatever I did. Just download the jar. So I will give this link also. So you download the jar. So this is the example for the JSON folder. So first you download the jar. The jar location is this is the jar. So you download the jar here. This is the jar, this is the data. So you can take a jar of cloud data. Cloud data, there is a so I I I mess I just uh uh here is the data. So I gave it jar here. So this jar, this jar you download it, keep it in some directory, keep it in the some directory, download. How there are you will go? Here is this jar. Is there. Download this jar, download this jar. And keep it to jar to the jar folder. Okay. And in the file shell, you run the command add jar. In file shell, mm -hmm. you run the command add jar. Mm -hmm. They don't show that. Okay. So once you do this, I add jar, jar path. Then after, You can follow. You can create a type of the table and those things. So you have to first prepare the data. You can create a data. Create a data. Then create a table. And a table you create. And then load it. Data. You change your file, load data. You load the data after creating table, loading data. Then you can do select start from. Okay, so this one is a one type of JSON, right? This is a two column JSON, but there could be a JSON is a complex feed. This is the second example. It's very easy, right? Just 
this is an internal table they are creating okay so it's not a matter you create an internal experiment but you are using a load data command. so whatever path it is not a matter okay. it will load the data so this one so this is this is your data txt file the data is your this is the data so just copy this data and create a, your data file create your that data name. name I giving. I created this data. This is the key value pair. This is the key column value. But here is a complex type of this, right? Here is array type is coming, right? So you can see the nested JSON is created. So once your JSON is created, so this nested JSON. This second example is in example of nested JSON. Nested JSON type. So in this one, you first create a data. Okay. So let's keep it any name to data file. Okay. And next is once your data is created, now you just create a high table. Copy this. Copy this and so after getting data, you create a table. Same table I'm going to create in my type then. Okay, but here is the same test is there, so I will change the name of the table is nested. No, nested. So, the table. table is created. Once the table is created, same load data local path command you have to run. So, you have to run the same command to find the data for load data local path. And location is that and the data location is five testing data. That is my type testing. My testing. And I can keep it the file name is nested.json. Nested.json and into table and the table name is nested. My type testing. Okay, so data is loaded. Now we will do select star from Nested. Can you see the same way like we prepared the complex data type table, right? The same way the data is loaded. Like one column is uh, the Boolean value, the one, the array is a key, and uh, two is a double, and four is a string. Like these are the four columns. So suppose I say I want to get the data from select one, select three of index, I say zero, one, two, second index. I say I want, and uh, third one is a uh, two. So two field I want to get, and four field I want to get from nested. Now you are getting the particular index data. So have you seen that the JSON data you cannot directly load manually in the table, just load data locally. So you have to do before that. You have to create a table as a survey. This one. So this is a some survey jar you have to use, add the jar, and then you can use your survey jar and parse the data and load data in the table. Okay, so this load data table command, I'm just copying it. So load data local path, just change your user home directory, okay? because that will not work for your case. Okay, and if you want to get the data from the table field, so I have mentioned here the two examples. One is simple primitive type example, and one is a complex type of nested JSON example. Okay. You can try other one also there. There is uh, defining the all nested structure, right? Like like map is having a string comma array of in type. So this data type they given, and you can plan, you can try. Okay. So there are different different types of tables like you can create and then you can 
write the data. So I have already mentioned the link. So you can use this website link, this uh, blog, so this blog. Okay, so I will share this note so you can practice. Anyone has any questions? So tomorrow I will do bucketing and uh, we'll do other complex uh, this one, other survey. So parquet, avro, ORC, or regex. So these are days, you know. Okay, yeah, anyone has any questions?